organized to some degree, and I agree with the previous speaker that this is a revolt and not yet a revolution. Where we will see a revolution and where we will see violence is in America because the workers at General Motors and Chrysler now are going into Chapter 11 and Ford are being completely cut out of society in the most violent manner. And uh, I recommend that the CEOs of Chrysler, Ford, and General Motors get waterboarded. I think that would be an appropriate response, as well as Morgan Stanley and J.P. Morgan Stanley and uh, Goldman Sachs, because they have destroyed the American economy. That's where you're going to see a violent uprising. In Europe, the situation is a lot more organized because workers have had rights in France for decades. They've been fighting for rights for decades. And the, the tango that goes on between labor and government is well established. There's rules. And they're able to, in this country, in France, actually, what they say, boss napping. They take a boss hostage. And this all happens without any violent uh, occurring. Now, what is unprepared is in the United States because they really have forgotten who they are as independent declaration of independence seeking individuals. They become completely subsumed by the corrupt banking system. And as the housing market continues to degenerate, and as more and more people end up in tent cities in America, and of course you've got tens of millions of guns lying around waiting to be used in America, uh, that's where you're going to see the violence. So it won't, probably won't be in, a, in Europe, but it will be in America, because mm -hmm. also in America they have very little organization for labor. Uh, labor is considered to be a dirty word. Uh, people who work for a living in America are treated like dirt. Uh, only the, the people who steal money at the banking system get any respect. You know, the Donald Trumps of the world get respect. And Donald Trump is, is, is really a, a clown, a, a poster child for neoliberal excesses and uh, double dealing. And yet he is respected. Uh, and the worker in America is treated like complete uh, mud and dirt. And uh, this is what will lead ultimately, I think, to a good old healthy revolution in America. I hope that they return to their uh, grassroots as a uh, free people.